Why have two award season frontrunners faced backlash for using AI? Let me explain. Both Emilia Perez and The Brutalist have come under scrutiny for using AI voice cloning technology. Some critics have praised the films for incorporating AI to enhance their storytelling, while others have condemned them for relying on the same technology. Similarly, some have questioned the artistic authenticity of using AI, while others have applauded its creative integration. In Emilia Perez, AI was used to alter Carla Sofia Gascon's singing voice by incorporating that of French pop star Camille. The goal was to expand Gascon's vocal range in the film, which is often described as an operatic musical. The technology was developed by Respeecher, a company based in Ukraine that specializes in AI-generated synthetic voices. For The Brutalist, editor David Janso used AI technology to generate Hungarian dialogue. The software transformed the voices of Adrian Brody and Felicity Jones to enhance their pronunciation and fluency in Hungarian. Addressing the backlash, director Brady Corbett told Deadline, Adrian and Felicity's performances are completely their own. They worked for months with dialect coach Tanera Marshall to perfect their accents. Innovative respeecher technology was used in Hungarian language dialogue editing only, specifically to refine certain vowels and letters for accuracy. No English language was changed. The aim was to preserve the authenticity of Adrian and Felicity's performances in another language, not to replace or alter them, and it was done with the utmost respect for the craft. This controversy highlights the ongoing debate about AI's role in filmmaking, especially in the wake of the recent actors and writers' strikes, where the use of artificial intelligence was a major point of contention. What are your thoughts on AI in filmmaking? Let us know in the comments.